This video is supported by Curiosity Stream. Get access to my streaming video service, Nabula, a Streamy Award nominated service, when you sign up for Curiosity Stream at the link down below. During Tesla's AI Day last August, Elon Musk announced that Tesla will be making a humanoid robot that's designed to help with those repetitive, boring tasks. A functional prototype is expected to be ready in 2022. According to Elon Musk in the Q4 2021 earnings call, these robots have the potential to be more significant than the vehicles Tesla is producing right now. This, I think, has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. So what's the deal here? First of all, what is Tesla bot? The Tesla bot resembles an average sized human at five foot eight and 125 pounds. It's pretty slow with a maximum speed of five miles per hour and a maximum deadlift weight of 150 pounds. The black and white slick looking design robot internally codenamed Optimus runs the same artificial intelligence used by Tesla's autonomous vehicles. But still, what is Elon Musk doing with the robot? Initially, Elon Musk suggested that the robot could run to the grocery store for you, but over time, it would be able to handle many tasks involving manual labor. The company is already making world-class self-driving electric cars, and with the current technology, the so-called Tesla bot will incorporate Tesla's automotive AI and autopilot technologies to plan and follow routes, navigate traffic, and avoid obstacles. It wasn't just an idea on paper for Elon Musk though. Already, the Tesla CEO anticipates that the robot will be mass-produced by 2023. The Tesla bots will be used in Tesla's factories. With the disruptive technology, Tesla is expanding beyond the road of a traditional automaker. Specifically, the company is threatening to disrupt the 45 trillion global labor market. Compared to a much smaller market of 2.8 trillion globally for EV, Tesla is entering a broader business sector. In fact, Tesla was never just a car company. Back in October 2020, Elon Musk explained the business of Tesla as Tesla should really be thought of as roughly a dozen technology startups, many of which have little to no correlation with traditional automotive companies. Some refer to Tesla as a software company that also make cars. Elon Musk arguably thinks Tesla is a robotics company. That makes sense when we see the latest and the greatest Model Y. It is basically a robot on wheels. It has a brain of its own and can make real-time decisions. The onboard cameras are constantly scanning their environments, transmitting those data to the onboard chips that's also designed by Tesla and making thousands of on-the-fly decisions. Moreover, all of this data from hundreds of thousands of miles driven by Tesla cars with autopilot in action are uploaded back to their server and help train the whole fleet. Therefore, the artificial intelligence learning process keeps getting better and better. Tesla is now taking it all to the Tesla bot. Maybe making self-driving cars is just an aspect of the whole grand scale of Tesla's ambition. Back to the Tesla bot, why a human form robot at all? It is obvious that the human form is insufficient for labor work. We've built this world around us with ergonomic designs to help ease humans' lives. We tend to build robots for the specific tasks that they are meant to perform. For example, a robot vacuum cleaner, a dishwasher, Flippy the frying pan, or most relatably, Model Y with its onboard computational powers, cameras, and sensors. The Model Y is designed to perform self-driving, and therefore, it's a puzzle as to why Tesla chose to go with a human-sized robot, especially if it was to perform tasks in factories. Nevertheless, Musk in an interview in 2018 made a remark on human workers as being very good at adaptation and rapid evolution. Humans are really good at adaptation um, and, and rapid evolution. You know, like some of the things, it's like, like trying to connect uh, a hose that, that's like sort of dangling around. I see. And, and, and then you're like, the robot's like got to find the hose, grab it, like, then connected to another hose. At that point. It's like really hard. Yeah. Or, like a person can just go, oh, they're done. Gotcha. Yeah. That uh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, when you see it, it's like, wow, it's super, super obvious. Needless to say, the Tesla bot coupled with Tesla's technology will be able to do all sorts of things that humans usually do. Now, what about Tesla bot's intelligence? Will these robots be able to perform everyday tasks as well as we do? In 2015, Elon Musk co-founded a non-profit research firm called OpenAI. OpenAI has an explicit goal of ensuring artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Artificial general intelligence is different from artificial intelligence. 
AI is capable of the tasks that it's been trained to do, while AGI can perform any task that a human can do. AGI brings human-level intelligence to machine learning. Although some argue that we're hundreds of years away from realizing true AGI, the possibility of AGI has led many to fear of a dystopian future, one that Elon Musk also warned about a few years ago. That might have led Musk to decide to take control into his own hands. To prevent a Terminator-like scenario, Musk has proposed decentralizing the control of Tesla Tesla bots. Now, what about the competitions? The most prominent competition in the market of Tesla bots is Boston Dynamics. The company has spent many years specifically focused on those robots. They recently rolled out a humanoid Atlas that can jog, jump, and dance. The working prototype of Atlas doesn't look like a typical human build. In a YouTube video, it demonstrates a surprising capability to balance on an uneven platform. Boston Dynamics' other products, Spot Robot Dogs, are being used by some police departments in the United States. Down in Boca Chica though, SpaceX is also using two dogs named Zeus and Apollo. They both have onboard thermal camera systems and remote control capabilities that allow them to be used in scenarios where it would be dangerous for humans to be present. These robot dogs can also act as mobile platforms as each can carry additional payloads including a device to sniff for gases. Looking forward, while there are a lot of unanswered questions and curious eyebrows as to why Tesla is commencing such a move, we're left to wonder if AGI in a robot could be the future of robotics, or should we divert our attention to what Boston Dynamics is doing, fully capable four-legged robots with remote control. While the Spot Dog robot provides stability, strength, and the ability to integrate extra payloads, the Tesla bot promises a future of autonomous robot assistance. If we really look closely to all projects that Elon Musk is doing, he has a bigger picture for humankind. From Tesla with self-driving cars, SpaceX and its Mars landing programs, to Neuralink, it's clear that for Elon Musk, technology is humanity's savior. Judging by his various endeavors, Elon Musk imagines that humans will ultimately advance beyond our evolutionary heritage. Through technologies, humans will become superhumans. According to Tesla, the Tesla bot program is part of the development of the next generation automation, including a general purpose, bipedal, humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, and boring. But before the technology can help us transcend, it needs to be a human first. This video is supported by Curiosity Stream. While this world is built ergonomically for humans, Mars is a blank canvas for humankind to build their next colonies. It will without a doubt pose a handful of challenges as we explore options for our next home planet in the solar system. If you want to see more content like this, you should check out my streaming service, Nebula. Nebula is my go-to streaming service built and owned by creators like myself, Tech Arta, Real Engineering, Polymatter, and many other others. It's a platform without ads, so you just watch stuff you want without any interruptions, and it allows us creators to make good content for you. Nebula includes hour-long, high-quality documentaries from your favorite creators on YouTube. And because CuriosityStream likes to support independent creators, Nebula has teamed up with CuriosityStream and you can get Nebula for free when you sign up for CuriosityStream with a link in the description down below. If you haven't heard about CuriosityStream yet, it's a platform that has a huge collection of big-budget, non-fiction videos. Knowing that the human body is built and adapted to planet Earth, how great of a risk is it to send a manned mission to Mars then? Machines, on the other hand, has no fear of cosmetic radiation and extreme temperatures on Mars. Sending an advanced fleet of robots to Mars could be a solution preparing the planet for our arrival. Check out the series Space Robot Revolution on CuriosityStream to see how robots can land space missions and collaborate with us in our journey to become a spacefaring civilization. Go to curiositystream.com slash Curious Elephant and get a full year of access to CuriosityStream for less than $15 today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.